Central Lab team. This is Danielle with another bargaining update. Hello, Central Lab team. This is Sarah again from CORE. Today was our 13th bargaining session with Alina. We asked the employer again to give us the $2.50 market adjustment given to other sites. Alina wants us to wait to get any adjustments until we bargain wages. However, they are the ones sending us messages about how long bargaining a first contract takes. Our merit increases have now been suspended, so Alina is expecting us to go without even a cost of living increase for possibly over a year. Our wages are falling behind not only other healthcare systems in the Twin Cities, but behind other Alina sites. We all know staffing is a challenge, and if we can't attract and retain techs, it will only get worse. We started the day working on all of our open, non-economic proposals and presented a complete proposal to the employer. We worked to bring our proposals closer together on layoff and recall, job vacancies, and lead and charge techs. While the employer was reviewing our proposal, we spent our time working on our economic proposals. This includes wages, PTO, and shift differentials. Hopefully, we can close our non-economic proposals soon and move into economics, which we know are high in everyone's priorities. The employer responded to our proposal with a counterproposal that left out many of the articles we had proposed. The employer's unwillingness to bargain for benefits we proposed without even explaining to us why they aren't interested continues to prolong the negotiations and disrespects every central lab tech. The employer also rejected our health and safety language saying there wasn't a need for it. We told the employer that it was their responsibility to keep us safe and they can do that by accepting the reasonable language on health and safety for all lab workers. We again proposed language on job vacancies where the open position is granted by seniority first in the job class and then outside of the job class to ensure a fair process. We are very close to reaching an agreement on layoff and recall language. The employer wants to give us 28 days notice for a layoff and subsequent rebate. We dropped our proposal from 42 days to 35 in an effort to get them to reach a tentative agreement on this article. The next bargaining date is Wednesday, August 3rd. On each negotiation day at 4.30 p.m., please join us on a Zoom to get updates on the negotiations and to get your questions answered by the bargaining team. We look forward to seeing you there and addressing your questions and concerns. We wanted to personally thank each and every one of you for signing our petition. We had nearly 100% of the members sign it. The March on the Boss was also very successful. When we stick together and fight together, we will surely win.